briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2013, the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Western District of Washington heard the case of Waldron v. Huber in Rehuber, which centered around the use of an asset protection trust to avoid paying debts. The debtor, Donald G. Huber, created the trust to shield his assets from creditors. However, the trustee, Mark D. Waldron, filed a motion for summary judgment against Huber, arguing that transfers made by Huber to the trust were invalid, the trust was not valid, and that a discharge of debts should be denied. Despite the settler's choice of Alaska law, the court applied Washington state law to determine the validity of the trust. The trustee argued that the trust should be invalidated and its assets brought into the bankruptcy estate. The trustee accused Huber of transferring assets to the trust to hinder creditors and using trust assets to pay pre-petition creditors and maintain a lavish lifestyle. The court took the matter under advisement, ultimately granting the trustee partial summary judgment. The court granted summary judgment for the trustee on the UFTA claim due to actual fraudulent intent, finding that the debtor had fraudulently transferred assets in an attempt to deter creditors. However, the court did not grant summary judgment on other claims, such as the wrongful use of net loss carry forwards or alter ego allegations. The trustee received judgment only on the UFTA claim. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.